Sometime last week, which was Easter week, at an Easter reception at Downing Street, David Cameron, the Prime Minister, spoke to some religious leaders of our nation. He said that the uh, council meetings, local council, that's local government meetings, ought to be able to begin with prayer, uh, and they, he felt that they had every right to do so. And yet, it was under his government that a ban was initially imposed upon such prayer times before local government meetings. He also said at the meeting that Christians should be able to wear a cross at work. <laughs> and yet it's under his government that a ban has been imposed upon wearing a cross at work. He told the religious leaders at the same meeting that we need Christian morality to stabilise our country. I'm laughing because that's a big joke. Because in the same breath he stated his commitment to legalise same-sex marriages. As an aside, he said that this practice of same-sex marriage would only happen in registrar offices and not in churches. Oh yes, pull the other one Mr Cameron, who would ever believe anything that he ever said? The Conservatives once said that they would not ban the burqa because it was against human rights to do so. Well, so they decided to ban the cross instead. Good going, well done. They say that they cannot deport known terrorists because of their human rights, but they can tap into all of our phone calls and read our emails because presumably we do not have any human rights at all. Never in this country have we seen such double talk and insincerity from politicians I'm talking about. You know, a lot of Christians are like this. I've met a lot, very similar. They claim that they want to follow Jesus. Oh, but first Lord, just let me do my thing. In Matthew chapter 16 and verse 24, Jesus said these words, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. In a very loving and caring sort of a way, Jesus tells us it's my way or the highway. And that's simply because he knows that his way is the only way that will actually work for us and do us any good. And that's why he wants us to go his way. I don't care who we are, whether we are a, a monarch, a prime minister, or just a man in the street. There can be no compromise with God's way. Either we're for him, and he said this himself, or we are against him. And let's face it folks, Christ's way is not difficult, and it leads to immense security, prosperity, and blessing for each and every one of us that go his way. I personally couldn't conceive of living any other way but the way of Christ. And, you know, as a result, I've had a great life, a very rewarding and fulfilling life. My life couldn't have been so full of the good things it has been had I not followed Jesus Christ. You know, folks, I fear for this country. And the reason that I fear for this country is that we're on a one-way trip to destruction as a nation and as a culture. I say this because I believe God's word above any other word, and his word tells us that. Whether it be the word of a king, a politician, a scientist, or anyone else, I believe God's word above them all. I've followed Christ for 50 years, and I've proved his word over and over again. His word is always true under each and every circumstance of life. No scientist can convince me otherwise, and certainly no politician could ever convince me otherwise. If we measure this country against God's word, then this country fails miserably. And there's little hope for us as a free and democratic nation. You know, when we keep God out of our society, then evil will always replace him. Look at what happened in the United States in the schools and the university and colleges. 
When they kicked God out, murder entered. We've just had another recent incident of this. Was it last week or the week before? Someone went, some youngster went in with a gun shooting people. And that's what happened when they kicked God out of their schools and colleges. Surely a similar thing is going to happen here in the UK, if it's not already happening, of course. Do you know, I can't for the life of me understand why people will listen to a politician who is so full of spin, never intending to do anything that he promises, and often doing what he has no mandate from the people to do. That's what's happened with same-sex marriage. They had no mandate from the people to do this. And generally, they make everything worse. Stop and think about this. Doesn't everything get worse from each successive govern government these days? But we believe his promises. We fool by them every time and vote for him. But we don't believe the promises of Christ. Now this, I don't understand. When Christ promises and what Christ promises, he fulfills totally and without any kind of spin. Christ gave his life for us. He died a cruel death that we might receive his forgiveness and his eternal life. Who do we want to believe in and follow? That's the question. My mind is made up. I'm following Christ. Let me encourage you now, while you still, while you still have the freedom to choose, follow Jesus Christ. You know, the way things are going in this country, folks, how long will it be before we lose that freedom to become a Christian? And don't say that it can't happen, because it's already beginning to happen. It's heading in that direction. Think about these things this week. Have a good week. Have a look around the website. See if there's anything that blesses you. I hope there is. Have a good week, folks. Bye for now. God bless you. Bye. Cries out for you. Oh Lord, my soul cries out for you. Day and night time too. My soul cries out for you. You're the brightness of it.